Are you looking to level up your author business? Are you pounding your head against a wall, wondering what your next step should be? Then join me, Daniel Wilcox. And me, Sasha Black, as we haul ass each week in a bid to level up. Level up. Come along for the ride as we delve deep into the business of writing, craft, entrepreneurship, and every level of the author journey. This is the Next Level Author Podcast. Hello, Achievers, and welcome to episode 61 of the Next Level Author Podcast, a podcast where we hold each other to account and track our step-by-step progress as we level up our author business. My name is Sasha Black, and here with me every week is Muck Eyebrows. Daniel Cox. Hello. (laughs) who was for podcast listeners and not video listeners was giving me strange winky eyebrow things i was, I was dancing with my eyebrows i was doing like the cabri advert is like, that what you call dancing you wink with your eyebrows wow yeah like that basically like he's i can't i don't know how to do the audio <laughs> captions for this <laughs> i'm just alternating which eyebrow i'm lifting yeah right anyway left both left <laughs> So, Dan, how are you this week? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> like, what's really bizarre for this week? So, for context for people, I've had I've had like a really weird week because I've I basically on Monday you morning you say that set... every week. <laughs> no, but every I mean this this one's weird. more like yeah. To be fair, but this, this one's more physically. So, like on Monday morning, I was set to go to a cafe and get some words in, and then I suddenly got hit with like a really like dizzy spell. And then I basically had to lie down for 15 minutes. And then basically since then, I just keep going lightheaded. I woke up at like two o'clock in the morning on Monday. Um, just literally woke up feeling as if someone had grabbed me and just spun me around and then thrown me into the bed. And like, so for some, like, I say for some reason, most of my energy has been sapped this week. And I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Things are kind of like looking right. It might be some kind of like temporary vertigo thing. Um, <laughs> but the really interesting thing is like i this week is on fast because it's been basically me walking through mud but at the same time i've still done loads so it's not like i've my my work has suffered because i've still like managed to do over 20k in ghost writing words i've like been promoting like the different things that i'm doing like i've been on about two or three different podcasts so what you're trying to say is when you're sick you don't look after yourself and you drive yourself into the ground still well, this is the weird thing because I've been sleeping more than I slept in weeks. I have been eating better than I've been eating. Like exercise wise, I've not really been able to do because, you know, I keep going lightheaded. Um, but yes and no. Yes and no. Like I know, I know like an element of this is I, I do need to take a rest, which unfortunately a couple of things I'm doing at the minute, I can't. But yeah, that's, that's kind of my week. So <laughs> I've done lots. I'm dizzy a lot. Um, but <laughs> We like, are the worst humans in the world. This <laughs> like, is not a good example for. We are but not just... setting a good example. Dan, have you just heard what you said? You've just said you're having dizzy spells where. Yeah, but. It's that's... like, no, 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 like, no, no. My turn to talk now, honey not... bun. No. Okay, go ahead. Right, you are saying. If you're going to preach to me on rest, Sasha, fucking back, we're going to have a problem because I at least took a week off of like a month ago, was forced to yeah I you need it thing. you came back better <laughs> oh what does that tell you oh wow but no if you want to get into if you want to get into it basically what they reckon it is is that you have like a string of crystals around like the point where all the three tubes of your inner ear connect and some of those have gotten loose and they're just like working around the, the fluid in my ear which then causes these and this cause nausea so that if you look in certain directions like it basically like, moves the crystals and makes you like it affects your, your balance and because of that and what that kind it? of um they said not, it could be not looking any number of that? things hmm. not necessarily they like... reckon no i'll tell you what causes it head trauma <laughs> i've not head had trauma. any head trauma hmm. no so go figure it can happen i also have a history in my family of vertigo so hmm. there's that tying in can we also talk about the fact that the fact you haven't rested yeah let's turn that back <laughs> you have a house phone <laughs> and i didn't know those things still existed yeah, my parents do. That's nuts. I didn't realise people yeah, still have that. Well, no, phones. I tell you, I tell, this is really interesting for this. I'll tell you as to why. It's because we live in the arse end of nowhere and signal is often terrible, apart from if you have a landline. So it's more like family and emergencies. Ah, okay, okay. Cool. Well, uh, how's your week? Mm-hmm. 
So the next thing on the schedule is, no, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, I'm fine, mate. Absolutely fine. I've had no health issues at all. Asha? <laughs> right. I've had a number of health issues because I'm really tired. <laughs> and uh, so like Chris also called me out and was like, but are you in burnout? And I was like, but no, no. Like every time I sit down at the computer, like the motivation to do the work and the words are there. Like, so I'm not creatively burned out. And she was like, uh-huh, but are you another kind of burned out? And I was like, uh-huh. yeah, maybe. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, I am really tired. My throat hurts. I've had some other issues. I've, I've had like three issues this week. So I know my body is like protesting. It's such a wanker. Why does it have to, like, I want to just keep going. What is wrong with it? Fuck's sake, it's so weak. Get a grip. <sighs> like it annoys me that it can't keep up with me. Uh, so like, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I did, however, send off my manuscript to the editor. Hell yeah. Yeah. And so then I was like, <laughs> horribly abusive to myself and was all like uh shit blah, blah, all that crap um and I'm trying to pull myself out of that now and into this is book it's amazing and I'm gonna <laughs> market it and all of that crap um on behalf but, of you know myself and the people that have read it so far it's a very good book you should be proud like it's it's really good do you not get that though like at the end of a book where all of the doubt kicks in and you like convince yourself that it's rubbish even though you know it's not no i think what i've learned to do is the really healthy thing which is just bottle aside those feelings and just throw them away <laughs> sounds well healthy like, mate. <laughs> yeah i know i i finished a book and then i'm like okay done like yeah i've done i, I think like i've said before like i i get to a point where it's like i've done the best i know that i've done the best i can with this book and you know let the cards fall where they may yeah i don't that's not what I do. Um, anyway, so uh, I'm also going to run a masterclass uh, as part of the launch. Uh, so it's an hour long session that I will be teaching live and there'll be people in a Zoomy type thing. And then there'll be time for Q&A at the end. Um, however, I was going to run it at the end of the launch week. And then I realized that that was in the week that I'm off. So uh, I'm actually decided to run it at the end of August, I think. I don't know, I haven't set a date yet. <clears throat> but anyway, it will be when I'm back. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited about that because it's the first time I'm going to run live training and I'm like shitting myself because it's live training, but also really looking forward to having that engagement and that interaction whilst I'm teaching and seeing how people take uh, like the material. So yeah, and I'm gonna try and make sure it's really affordable as well. Uh, so it's not gonna be wildly expensive. Um, yeah, so everyone can, I don't know, listen out for that at some point when I release it. Why can't I hear you? You've like muted yourself. That's I've muted myself, none of your business. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is it, are you going to have a link for that to put in the show notes this week or is that something that's coming up in the future? Um, I would have to do that by Tuesday, wouldn't I? <sighs> I may just miss it. We'll see. It I'll, try. Really I'll try. I'll yeah. try. Um, because I basically, over the next week, I am putting up the pre-orders for side characters and the pre-order for the master, <sighs> not pre-order, the purchase link for the masterclass. Um, I, but whether or not I get that done by Tuesday, I don't know. We can retrospectively put it in though, I suppose. Um, or I'll just drop the links into the next week. I will try my best anyway. It just, because next week's half term, I just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's got damn half terms. And then I'm going to be finishing my challenge for NLA. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Going to get the audio book done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My challenge. I feel like. Um, oh, all right. Almost. So, success of the week. We are going to request for everybody to start posting their successes of the week into the Facebook group. We are low. Um, and so, we need your successes, guys. Tell us what you've I been have doing. I've just put what a you've post achieved. up on the Facebook group. Oh, well done. It's almost like you're multitasking and not giving me your all attention, Dan. I mean, I did it before we started recording. So when you want to come down that? off that high horse, like, then feel free to join us mortals because on the ground you, level. You also muted yourself. I mean, the proof, so it literally has the I mean, time that I shared it 37 really minutes ago. 
So if this Whether is really going to be where we that. go for this, like, that's, <laughs> we're going to have a problem. All right, stop. This is going to be torture for listeners. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, <laughs> all right, uh, Patreon. Uh, no new patrons this week, but for anyone who wants to get involved in our monthly Q and A's and get early access to all episodes, then go on over to patreon.com forward slash next level authors. Oh, shite. Guess what we've got next. And I don't know what my thing is. <laughs> thing of the week. What have you enjoyed? Oh, actually, I do know what I've enjoyed. That's fine. Um, I had my thing. And now I just... What thing have I enjoyed this week? All right. Well, uh, I, I've, I... I've read I've read quite a lot of books this week. Have um, you? Book, books plural? <clears throat> yeah. I Well, I, I read three nonfiction books. Um, I read... Uh, I've got to try and remember now. I read The Art of Community by Charles H. Vogel. I read uh, Take Your Shot by Robin Waite. And uh, I read Mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm basically, because like, as listeners know, I'm, I've, <laughs> I'm kind of been shipping away on my productivity book for months. I'm finally at a point where I think where I've got like a system to, uh, to document and log all the research that I'm doing to make sure that you know each page is informed I'm getting to the point now in my head where everything really is starting to fall into place in terms of how the book's going to look how I want to sort of share the message um and then yeah I've, you know got lots of things running in the background but it's been nice just sitting down and and reading like I had Wednesday night I just was like yeah I'm just going to read and just sat and read for about three hours which was quite nice um Monday I read a lot but that was mostly because I was dizzy and couldn't do anything else <laughs> so yeah that's my that's my thing I've enjoyed um, reading and particularly paperbacks because I go in and out of you know whether I read on a kindle or paperback but I'm in a paperback zone at the minute mm, love me a paperback um <clears throat> I have enjoyed two things the first thing came from Caitlin who recommended that I use the read aloud function in Microsoft Word and oh my god it sped up my um i have to say i don't think i'd have got the book proofed if it weren't for that function uh what hey. i did is i sped it up to just a fraction um faster than my I mean, comfort possible. zone and i already listened to audio quite fast so it was really fast but the reason i did that is because what i had been doing was changing things unnecessarily that didn't really need changing um you know fannying and it's just because I didn't want to let go of the book um just fannying. And I was just fannying basically <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to let go of the book into a, you are? Into American or, or Australian or wherever yeah. else our listeners are yeah I don't know <laughs> basically the, the I meant messing around um yeah, and it's because I just didn't want to let go because I'm just nervous. And uh, anyway, so I sped it up slightly faster than I was like comfortable with. And it meant that I only then stopped it to make genuine changes and corrections mm. um, rather than just fanning around with wording, which was fine as it was. Uh, so this was <laughs> so, in Word? Yeah, Microsoft Word. You go to the review okay. tab and there's a read aloud button in the ribbon. Um and I loved the fact that you could change the speed. Also, did you know WhatsApp can change the speed of audio messages now, which is well cool. I've seen it on desktop. I haven't seen it on mobile. Yeah, like you can tap the button and it will change the speed of the audio, and speed it up That's for you, really which is useful. cool. Yeah, I know, right? Because people talk far too slow. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second thing that I've enjoyed is Ragnarok. Uh, so it's season mm. two that's just come out and it's in, what is Norwegian? I was like, wait, <laughs> It's in Norwegian, spoken Norwegian, but they I think they dub it over the top with English um, <clears throat> or you can have subtitles, uh, but it's set in Odda. I don't know if I've pronounced that right in Norway, which is just the most exquisitely beautiful place. And um, I watch it because of the scenery, because it is just so delightfully beautiful uh, with lakes and mountains and and uh, glaciers and oh it's just gorgeous so yeah I'm on season two but I recommend everybody obviously starts with season one because you need you the go. context it's not like uh, episodic mm. yeah oh okay nice. uh, weekly confessional Sasha will write a list of all that she's 
doing to look where she can cut back, aim to get side characters off the editor, find a template for her future masterclasses and finish Scott's book. I finished Scott's book. I did write the list. I feel like, um, well, what I've done is I've put the list in my Apple notes because I, it was really hard and I struggled a lot to write the list. Um, so I'm going to keep it as like a running working list so that I can keep adding to it when I do new things or every so often I'm going to like review it. Um, that in doing that, I sort of found a couple of other things where, although I can't afford to give it to the VA yet, uh, the, I will give those things to the VA. Maybe after I've launched, I don't know, we'll see how the launch goes. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I did find a template for the masterclass. So that is done. Um, and obviously I've rolled that way on now and committed to doing it because I've mentioned it on both podcasts. <laughs> so there's no mm -hmm. way I can get away with it now. Um, it's going to happen. Yeah. So I think that was all of them. Was that all of them? Uh, yeah. Yeah, smashed it. I also want to just come back to um that like handing things off to the VA comment because I, I shared something in like a group that we're in yesterday, which I just thought was really useful. And it's a it's like a thing that because I've not experienced it yet, I've not been through that um barrier. And we talk a lot of, like on this show about like the friction points of like, you know, you get to a point where you're so overwhelmed with work but you can't yet hand it over, but you know that in you'll get to a point where you can. And it was just um the show notes from a podcast that I was listening to, Entrepreneurs on Fire. And one of the things was uh, there is a tipping point wherein once you get out of that initial hustle and grind, it is better to do less. It will make you more productive. Mm. And that is what I seek. <laughs> and to be fair, that's kind of one thing I've been consciously doing is like really trying to see where my time is best invested. But that's a whole different conversation. Oh, you're going to love Unless that. Unless that's the question you asked this week. <laughs> no, but, but, you um, know, we're going to see. Yeah. <laughs> So mine was, uh, I will finish my 90 day book camp website, which I did. That is live. Um, it's even got like a little video for me that I put together on Sunday. Um, and I've already had a bunch of people interested in that. So, uh, I mean, there are still spaces available. So anyone that wants to go and check that out, that is danielwilcox.com slash 90 days. Um, I will promote self-publishing blueprint, which I've been putting some stuff out and doing that. I've been on a couple of different podcasts. Um, I've been sort of ticking along. I'm looking at um, uh, setting up some Facebook ads and things just to, see what i can do with them because i've seen yeah that's a whole other conversation as well <laughs> um oh action designs for my secret project and i have and i've got I'm, I, I can't say too much at this point but i basically got two things and i need to decide one of them and it's really difficult for me at this point because i keep committing to one and then flip-flopping and going back to the other for various oh, I... different reasons okay well you can tell me the reason i know after. i know where you're at yeah, I, I, I think, I, yeah, I'll talk about it to you afterwards. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and update one more web page on my website to bring everything into the the updated sort of site, which I did. I updated my fiction page of my fiction books and just brought that more in line with the design that I've got. So, yeah, check, check, Comments? check, check, check. And uh, hold on, I also did 26,000 ghostwritten words, so I'm going <laughs> to add that. All right, here's um, your round of applause, honey. <laughs> Maybe I should do comments. it like this. Wow. <laughs> Joking. What was it? I, I heard the thing um earlier. It was like clapping is basically just beating yourself up for someone else's to yeah, anyhow. Um episode 60. What's one thing you can give up or one thing you can double down on? We are on point this week. Carrie says, uh, my giving up thing isn't necessarily work related, but it will improve my health. I'm giving up soda pop or at least cutting back. Um, to which I kind of replied that in improving your health, that is a work thing because it's putting you in a better position to do better work. Mm -hmm. uh, Edwin says, I've been in the process of cutting out voices that make me feel small as a writer and from Facebook groups, um, from everything from Facebook groups to podcasts. Likewise, I'm doubling down on cultivating a positive mindset during those periods when outside influences want to keep me down. And I think that one is is really important because yeah. sometimes you have to remind yourself that the groups that aspire you to where you want to be aren't necessarily reflective of your journey and where you are now. Mm -hmm. So while it's good to have these sort of people to look up to or these groups that are like showcasing what's, what's possible, sometimes you really do need to see what the next step is. And some like there can be a bit of a gap sometimes. So I think that's some some smart feedback there. I agree. Um, Meg says, great episode, you two. Thank you, Meg. Uh, one thing I can cut out is distractions. I need to badly. Oh, look, a shiny thing. Uh, and one thing I can double down on is writing. I tell great stories and I can do so faster without the above hindrance. Um, and I like there as well that it's almost that seesaw of, 
in cutting down that one thing, you are then enabling the double down on the other thing. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for everyone who commented. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so question of the week. Mm. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little bit dizzy, but I, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. So the question this week is, what are the, well, shall I give you, okay, so I'm not going to put a number oh, on geez. it. <clears throat> I'm not going to put a number on it, but I do expect you to name more than one. Okay. So you can choose That's how many number. you name. All right. So what are the times when you are being your best self? Oh, every second of every goddamn day. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, I think the first one, the times I'm being my best self are when I'm being accountable to myself and delivering on the things that I've told myself I'm going to do. Um, whether that's a small thing or a large thing, I think sometimes building momentum to be your best self comes from being accountable to yourself so if like for example if i say to myself i'm gonna get up at seven and go for a run that should be to me as much of a priority as if i said to a friend i'm going to meet you at seven and we're going to go for a run because if you can't trust yourself to do the things that you tell yourself you're going to do then it's a very quick downward slope to just devolving and not doing all the other things. So like sometimes, you know, we go through fluctuations and I'm definitely not doing that right now, or I'm trying to get myself in a position where I'm doing that right now. Um, but building that momentum saying like, I don't know, Wednesday at 12 o'clock, I'm going to go for a walk to make sure that I'm, I'm not actually taking a break from work and doing that thing is powerful. And doing that thing on time is powerful because I've done it before. I've been sat at the desk and I'm like, I'm going to go for a, a, I'm going to go for a break at 12 and then five past 12 comes and then 10 past 12 comes and you end up doing it at like 20 past 12, but you're like, Oh, but I've done it late. So it's that kind of thing mentally that really like gets me and drives me forward. Um, I think I'm trying to think because there's so much scope to this question. Mm -hmm. I think the times I allow myself to be present <clears throat> um, and enjoy the thing I'm doing and remember the thing that I'm doing and what it's purpose is rather than just feeling like you're going through the motions to do the thing um that's that's always huge when i am when i'm able to set boundaries and switch off like and by that i more mean because we, we've you know been through on episodes before that it's difficult sometimes to switch off when you do this kind of work but like when i have bailey at the weekends and knowing that i've given myself that time and been strict and specific to say like I'm not going to work this weekend because I'm going to be spending time with him or with my mum or you know with with friends um this I feel like you've got all... like a gotcha coming up no this is not at all how I expected you to answer the question and it's not how I'm going to answer the question so I don't know whether you want me to try and reword it or whether you're happy with your answer because that's fine if you are because that, that is the point of these questions is you get to answer them however you want but I'm gonna have a very different I mean answer. I think I've said my main <laughs> ones you you go and I'll see okay. if it switches things up so I think I am my best self one when I am performing so um, I think this is partly to do with um, significant strength and competition strength, because um, those two strengths are external looking. And so when I know somebody's watching or listening, I up my game because I want to do deliver for other people. I want to give my best self to them. I want to help them or um, give the best advice or create the best tips or whatever. So when I know there's some kind of audience or somebody, uh, you know, who's going to listen because they're like wanting advice or whatever, um, then I perform better. So I think I am my best self when there is some kind of audience. So for example, 
doing podcasts. I fucking love a podcast, right? Because <laughs> I come on and I get to have fun, but also I get to be like my, like 110% Sasha, you know, like, because we don't, we try our best. Like this week we are a bit like lo lower energy, right? But yeah. we try our best to come and bring all of our energy because we want to put some positivity into the world and we want to you know make people smile and laugh and and all of this stuff and I feel like that is one of the ways in which I am being my best self because I get to be the most me in that moment because I get to put me on steroids kind of thing because it is like you know even though we are ourselves it is still a performance um it or like that you know I wouldn't sit here and talk like this and just hope that everybody was you, do you know what I mean because that's not fun for anybody but also behind I don't... the scenes of like some of our like conversation outside the podcast <laughs> yeah. where we're both just like lying there, like, oh. uh, yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly but also you know I used to be on stage and I used to do acting and singing and dancing and all of that shite and I loved that and I always felt like I was embodying like part of my best self um and I think another part another time when I am my best self is when I am thick in the weeds of research and I didn't realize this until I came up with this question uh, but I am I am terrible at finding the answer to like a question on Google but what I'm really good at is going into the weeds of craft and researching and de deconstruction that's the word I'm looking for deconstruction that's one of the times when I am my best self because I am fucking good at deconstructing story and deconstructing prose and deconstructing um like anything to do with storytelling language um and and I and I love it and I feel like I am at my best when I'm doing that because I know I'm going to find something out or discover something and I'm going to be able to share that and give that to other people um, and so I feel like that's one of the times when I am being my best self um, and then another one of the times like of course is is when I am creating I can't you know I think it doesn't matter what I'm doing but if I'm creating whether it be characters and store and fictional story or non-fiction and writing or creating a masterclass or creating a lesson if I am making something out of nothing that is what I was put here to do and I think that that is one of the times in which I embody my best self but the reason I decided to ask this question was because of the deconstruction thing which was a surprise to me I didn't realize that 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 I felt so connected to that action and that task that I do or that process of deconstruction I didn't realize how much it makes me feel alive to do that mm. and so um yeah I think you know like I could say loads of other things like when I'm being a parent or when I'm having sex or whatever you know but I'm not gonna because <laughs> like, <laughs> you know Sorry, but you know we all enjoy being parents and other things so <laughs> are you okay dad <laughs> are you okay yeah i'm good sorry this is where our friendship is now it's and no, so also think, for public consumption i think um <laughs> switching gears i think that i still stand by my first lot of answers because i think we we are slightly different in that regard in that like you say you you enjoy that and it's not that like I don't enjoy being in those situations where you do perform and present your best self but I I've spent a lot of time working on myself trying to cultivate like consistency between who I bring to work and and who I am at home and it's not like it's it's not always the same and obviously when you are in these situations you do present better um it's just different but, elements of yourself isn't it like all yeah, of that yeah, is still think, you yeah and I think as you were talking like there are a couple of things that did pop up so number one is like I feel like I get really really energized by sort of deep intellectual challenging conversations mm. like there was a friend of mine who I used to like we used to we used to play poker and then like afterwards we'd have a few drinks and he'd end up sort of we'd, we'd finish the game at like half 11 midnight and he'd end up sort of just in my house chatting until like three in the morning about like AI and about like global warming and like all these different things and I really really enjoy like hearing other people's perspectives and trying to further my my knowledge on stuff and it's not like most of it's just curiosity most of it's just like this this sense of wanting to understand the world um and then also in situations like uh, I was a bit late coming to this podcast because uh, I won't go into the details of it but my mom came in and we had a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart about stuff and 
it was it was it was a problem that she came to me with that she was trying to understand with herself and I really really enjoy getting into people's heads like not in a manipulative way but in a trying to like understand where they're coming from and again see the components of what problem is being presented and sort of trying to offer different perspectives of things um and like one thing that popped into my head as, as I was thinking about this as you were talking is like I I enjoy the research process I enjoy reading and like I'm not obviously doing that for the book but one thing that I do really like is when there's like a group of people together working on a problem and you can like really bounce ideas off of each other and like utilize other people's knowledge be challenged um and like i'm that person that will just keep saying like well, well why like and trying to like really dig in it and get further um i am wondering now whether or not i assemble or, like a research team of people that i can literally just bounce ideas off of and just have like sessions now and then where i just really get going deep on like what what the issues are what they think like from different levels of stuff and use that for for my research because it's in those it's like in those moments that like you know me i like asking questions mm-hmm. it's your individualization <laughs> and, that's what's it's my favorite thing about you is that you're so good at asking questions and then just i i do because i don't I'm, my significance isn't isn't that high but i do get a real buzz from being able to use my knowledge to help other people and seeing that sort of light bulb go off and just being in an actual environment where you can get those quick rapid responses as opposed to having to like dig through papers and papers of research and stuff mm. so something to think about yeah and yeah. that's also why i asked the question because i felt like this question was a also that's your ideation as well wanting to do that i think yeah. individualization and ideation combined um <clears throat> you I, my strengths right now no okay um yes nice now i get you 100 percent of the attention tiger <laughs> oh wow um <laughs> uh, yeah like I, w- I wanted to ask the question because it was a shock and realization to me that like that deconstruction piece mm. and therefore like like sometimes I'm I always say oh you know I should be doing I should be spending more time writing fiction than I should non-fiction but in realizing that I both love and am at my best when I am deconstructing, I was like, no, that is the nonfiction and that will always be there. And that will always be, mm. you know, 50%. I'll just, I'll be glad when I have published the other two fiction books, cause then I will be at 50, yeah. 50 on the number of books. But oh, um, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but also it's like a, it's like a check, isn't it? You know, if this is when you're being your best self, are you making sure that you are making time to do these things so that you can be your best self in your... So I I think this is something that's really becoming apparent to me is this kind of like slide into the coaching and the stuff that I'm doing is like, I get, I can go into a coaching session and I might be like low energy at the beginning of it. But by the end, like I, I wake, I wake the fuck up and like I get involved and I speak to the person and like, I, I really like the sort of challenge of trying to, dodge and dive around it and i was on um i was on holly lines on Supple authors podcast last night and we were talking a lot about like my transition into coaching and, and sort of the non-fiction stuff and just so i i just felt alive while talking about about it all and it's it's been like a really weird thing to go from i'm gonna you know squirrel away and just write fiction to now i'm gonna put myself out there as a person who's helping authors like it's such a different dynamic mm. um but it's it's so rewarding and it's it's one thing that i don't know has has really kind of like just changed my outlook on what writing is and what it can be um and all of this stuff kind of like comes into play and going back to that kind of like intellecting side of things like if i'm reading lots of things that's one thing but it really cements my knowledge when i'm able to talk to someone about it because I know that you, you like we've been in a conversation about like the difference between like writing and talking and reading and like what it does in your brain but it really sort of like strengthens the bonds and the ties and the connections that i make between the information that i'm reading and what is actually being presented so yeah yeah i'm gonna have to think about that you're welcome to the that. question <laughs> i knew it was gonna mm. be a good one i was and that's why i was like so interested in in your answer and and also mm. the consequence of the answer because i think that that's the bit that i was like oh 
there is a consequence to this to this question anyway all right so um oh bollocks now we have to do how we're leveling up next week which is going to be really hard for me because i don't know um i'm already okay. at my top level no well it's that it's half term <laughs> and i don't know what working hours i'm going to get that's more the yeah. issue um i am not going to commit to a lot next week i'll be honest i'm going to commit to um I mean, I'm right there with you. I've got, I've got yeah. baby next week as well. Yeah. How are we? How are we gonna? I know what I'm gonna commit to. We can level up by. I'll bring baby to yours. <gasps> we'll lock them in a room. Yes. And then we can work. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. High five. I love it. Done. <laughs> uh, seriously, though, how are we leveling up our business? <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna no i don't know i'm gonna commit to putting no no i'm not gonna do that uh, <laughs> the irony of that sentence i'm gonna commit no no i can't i, can't. I, just can't. <laughs> I literally don't know um, i have a deadline to meet for next week so i'm gonna meet that deadline um although i've got to be careful of the wording here because the deadline's sunday i don't want to say i've done it by friday and then not having done it on friday when we record oh, well done. Uh, yeah i'm gonna be i'm, I'm <laughs> put myself on track to meet the deadline i'm going to update another one of my web pages and I'm going to decide on which one of the two I'm going to go with. I'm going to keep it cryptic. I am going to work on launching marketing, launch marketing. That's what I'm going to work on. And that's all I'm going to say because I just don't know how much time I'm going to get next week, basically. I could get loads and I could get loads done and then I could get none. Also, I should probably have some time off, but I'm not going to do that. So let's be real. Sasha. No, I'm working towards having two, two and a half straight weeks off in August. Don't you dare. Sasha. No. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, audience question of the week this week is... Uh, when are you your being your best self? And we will see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hungry for more? If you enjoyed this podcast, you can hear more of my angelic accent and Dan's dulcet tones on our other podcasts. For more of me, check out the Great Writer Share podcast. For more of me, listen to the Rebel Author podcast. We'll be back next week holding each other to account as Dan and Sasha become next level authors. Sasha? No. Let's go. Sasha. No. Sasha? What? Why are you so needy? I love you. <laughs> I'm not needy. I just want to tell you that I love you and I appreciate you. I hate you.